welcome to the last video of today's class now as promised before in this video i'm going to show you some practical examples of shorter versions of job descriptions and job specifications but before i start i must say this again the details job description and job specification is an internal document of the company it's not publicly available as i said in the last video but for job advertisement and job posting purposes companies publish a shorter version of the job description and job specification on their websites so now i'm going to show you few examples of the shorter version of jd and js of some reputed organizations so one of them is i guess many of you know walt disney the other one is many of your favorite organization unilever next we have coca cola and finally we have google so let's start with one of the very known companies in our country which is unilever so this is their career page so now if i scroll down this page i'll see a list of jobs available now this is the global site of unilever so that's why you can see jobs from thailand ecuador australia so this listing does not contain job only in bangladesh so now before moving into the jd and js of these jobs i want to say something else if i go up this page you will notice that the website is beautifully designed you will see that the website have many other parts why in order to attract the candidates because if the website is not good looking the content is not good the applicants will not be attracted to work for the company and they will not have a good first impression of the company so that's why we need to make sure the website looks professional and it looks good just to give you a brief idea here so on this page we have photos of employees having fun enjoying their work then we have job opportunity alert we have subscription opportunity and most importantly we have a video which explains why unilever so why would a person want to work for unilever right so let's go to this short video because after this video i'm going to explain something very important here so let's watch why one would want to work for unilever Settle on a bench. Stretch out on the grass. Pull up a chair. Now you're ready to work. But what will you do today? Help millions of people gain access to clean and safe toilets through behavior change and capacity building programs. Teach life-saving hand-washing techniques to help a child reach five. Offer the prospect of a sustainable livelihood to thousands of unemployed people who just need a chance. You can help do it all and more at Unilever. In a gentle way, you can shake the world. Heal the skin of people affected by disaster. You could help support sustainable farming and even assist with combating malnutrition. Because at Unilever, our values define how we do business and interact with colleagues, partners and consumers around the world. Through our household brands spanning home care, personal care, refreshments and food, we have a simple purpose, to make sustainable living commonplace. No matter our background, culture, race, sexuality or gender, together we're creating a bright future for ourselves, our business and our planet. Join us. And imagine what you could do. Unilever. Bright future made by you. All right. Now, if you notice carefully, the best thing that I like about this video very much is the fact that in this video, they have not only tried to attract candidates, good candidates to work for their company, at the same time they have also portrayed all the product offerings all the major products they have in the market so that's a really wonderful way of presenting both the things in one single video the company in the same video is attracting the candidates and at the same time showcasing their products now moving on so below this segment we have job listings so let's start with the first one 
let's take a look at the first one uflp information and analytics and by uflp they mean unilever future leaders program so let's go into this listing so yes if i scroll down we will see that on the left hand side we have a video again maybe more applicable to this job and then below that video we have location job field posting date and end date so by this date we'll have to apply on the right hand side we have a brief description of the program and then if we come down we will see that in this part it says the role has two main accountabilities or responsibilities so this part is basically the responsibilities of the job see this matches with what we have learned in the last video now below this we also have a timeline which is the timeline of the application process so the application opens on a specific date then the different selection method so the online assessment date is here then the next step is digital interview then we have phone interview on this date and finally there is a discovery center which is basically a whole day assessment of the candidates so on that day the candidates will have to do a presentation a focus group discussion role playing and other selection procedures and finally the tentative starting date of the finally selected candidates is from mid august so this is the brief description of the job in unilever all right now let's move on to the next company Walt Disney now once you go to the career site you will find something really amazing here as well now I'll press the play button on the right hand side of the page once I do that you will find something really amazing as well let's wait 10 seconds and take a look at the changing photos or images on this page Now see here, what is happening here? Remember, in the case of Unilever, they showcase their product in a single video. In the same manner, Disney is showcasing their creations on this page one by one. Now, for someone who loves to work with animations and movie making, this showcasing is a really big deal. It hugely helps in making a good first impression about their career site. Now let's move on down this to this page. So here, as we can see, it asks, where will your study begin, right? So this is a very catchy tagline. So rather than asking, where do you want to do your job? Where do you want to start your career? It uses a different tagline. Now the good part here is, you can choose in which department you want to start working in. Do you want to start working in the office environment? Do you want to start working in the park, resort, or retail location? Or do you want to go for production and entertainment location? Or maybe you want to be a sailor just like Jack Sparrow. Let's explore the unusual one, the territory of Jack Sparrow here. So if I select abroad or at the sea, next it asks what job level interests you. Okay, fine, you want to be Jack Sparrow. Now, do you want to be the manager or the office professional? or skilled trade administrative and guest service or maybe you are looking for an internship say we are looking for management and executive position in the ship so further it asks which career area are you interested in exploring so in management do you want to work in customer service or operations support so let's go into customer service so we have answered all the questions and matching our responses the system has found out one job opening right at this moment. So if we go in there. So yes, this is the job page and you can see the job title here. Marine and Technical Operations Engineering Officer. So this is a tech role. This is an engineering role. So let's go in there. See, this is the job page. So yes, this huge ship is waiting for you it's waiting for the jock sparrow 
So let's go down. Now here is the job title. And if we go down, see this is the job identification part. So it has job IDs, locations, business, and date posted. If we go further down, we will see a job summary here. So if you want, you can pause this video and read the job summary at your convenience. Now moving down, we will see the responsibilities section. So this section lists all the responsibilities of this job. So again, if you want, you can pause the video and read it. Moving on, it has basic qualifications. So this part is the job specification part. Remember? So these are the qualities the applicants must have. Now, if we go below all these, we will find a section which describes the Disney Cruise Line. And below that, there is a description about the Walt Disney Company. So we will find both the descriptions on the company and the business segment as well. So this page is quite thorough. It has job description. It has job specification, although in a shorter format. Besides all of these, it also explains the business and the company. Now I want to show another great part of this page. If I scroll up on the right hand side, I'll find a section called disability accommodation for employment applications. This is really wonderful. So if an applicant has a disability related issue, he or she can follow these instructions and apply for the job as well. So in my opinion, this page is quite thorough in explaining the job. Maybe one day someone of you will embark on this ship and be it Jack Sparrow. All right, so we are done with Walt Disney. Now let's briefly take a look at the Coca-Cola career site. At the beginning of the very first video of this class, I said I'm going to explain the job role of a marketing manager in Coca-Cola. So I'm going to do that now. So this is the page of Coca-Cola careers. Now, if I scroll down and here I will find the option of searching for a job. So enter search term, enter your location and other details. Now let's search marketing. Enter. Now here, all the job titles that contain the word marketing or has the word marketing in the description will be shown. So let's just go into the first one, Marketing Communications Manager. So it's in Casablanca and it's a full-time job. So let's click on this option. All right, so here is the job details. So again, the job identification, so location, job ID, time type, post date. And if we scroll down here, we will see the job details. So these are the responsibilities. Again, if you want, you can pause and take a look. And then if we scroll further down, we will see further responsibilities as well. So all the responsibilities are into different categories, just as the categories I showed in the last video. So these are all the responsibilities. Now here at the bottom, we have some terms, curious, empowered, version one, two, three, and inclusive. So if you pause the video and read this para, you will see that these are the qualities that they're looking for in the candidates. So they want their candidates to be empowered, they want their candidates to be inclusive, and they want them to be curious. So these are sort of job specifications. So again, if you want to take a read, please pause the video and read it on your own. So yes, after the job specification part, you can see an apply button here. So this is the job detail of the job of a marketing communications manager advertised on Coca-Cola website. Now, finally, we are going to move on to Google. So this is the Google careers page. So just as before, you can type your role here. Two examples are given. So software engineering, design, sales. Say I type engineering and then I press enter. The best part is here. See, it already shows that there are 938 engineering jobs available at Google right at this moment. Next, it says, sounds good. 
Where do you want to work? So now if you type the location, it will show you the list of jobs available in that area. Say for example, I type London. Yes. So enter. See, it comes down to 37. So there are 37 engineering jobs available in London right at this moment. So I don't want to add any further locations. Then next. All right. So it asks for any relevant skills or experience you would like to share. So if you want, you can add it. So if you have computer programming knowledge, you can add that. And then finance degree, you can add that as well. For now, I'm skipping that part. So I'm going to click finish. So yes, these are the list of 37 jobs, right? So if you scroll down, you'll see all the jobs available. So let's just go to the first job title sales engineer in the infrastructure modernization department. So as it says, it's a job in Google, it's situated in London, UK, and at the same time, it's available in Manchester as well. Now here we have the required qualifications. Now, if we want to look further, we have to click expand. So I'm clicking expand. So yes, if I scroll down, you will see the minimum qualifications again. Below that, we have preferred qualifications. So these are the qualifications that will give you an edge over the other candidates. So if you have these qualifications, you will get an extra edge over the others. Scrolling further down, see, this is the detail about the job. So it describes the job. Now moving further down, we have responsibilities. So what are the responsibilities under this job? If you get hired, what are the things that you have to do on a day-to-day -day basis? And finally, we have a map of the location of the job. So as I said earlier, it's in two locations, one in London and the other one in Manchester. So these are the details of the job that is posted on its website. So by now, we have seen four different jobs in four different reputed companies, Coca-Cola, Unilever, and Walt Disney.